Hi, I'm Erica Gammon. In a previous video, I showed how easy it is to place an InDesign file inside of another InDesign file. If you haven't watched that video yet, you might want to check it out first. This time around, I want to show you another example of how I use this workflow to make it easier to create InDesign files. In this case, I have a presentation, or a set of storyboards. And if I look at each individual item, I realize that these are three separate placed images. Not just the flowers, but the text down below as well. It's all one image, and that's because those are three individually placed InDesign files. Actually, it's three separate pages from one InDesign file. I can see that inside the Pages panel. If I look, I see flowers.indd, and then page 2, and page 3. So let's actually look how that document is set up. I'll jump over to flowers.indd, and I can look at the individual pages, and I can see that I've got my image and all the lines down below. And I also have this indicator number in the upper left. In my storyboard document, I have it placed so that's page 1, page 2, and page 3. But what if we decide to rearrange that order? If I did it in this file, I would have to actually manually move that image and rearrange it and reset where it needs to be. Let's undo that. Instead, by having each of those as individually placed InDesign files, I can rearrange them in the original file, and they will automatically update in this file. Again, I want to initiate it from this document so that when I save the other one, the updates automatically happen in this document. So I'm going to select one of them, I'm going to right-click or control-click, and I'm going to choose Edit Original. It opens up that flowers.indd file. And right now, this full bouquet is page 1. Let's actually just rearrange this and drag that down so it's the last image. So page 1 is the pink flower, page 2 is the blue one, and page 3 is the bouquet. And you may have noticed my numbers updated, and that's because I have automatic page numbering set in this document here. I'll make whatever changes I need, and then go ahead and select Save, Command or Control S. Then I'm going to jump back to the storyboard document, and then I get the pink flower, the blue flower, and the group of flowers here at the end. By having all the updates done in the original InDesign document file, I can keep the integrity of my layout in this document and still make all those changes that I need to make. Those are just a couple of places where you might find it handy to have an InDesign file placed inside another InDesign file. Well, I certainly hope you found this tip helpful. For thousands more InDesign articles and tutorials, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. And don't forget to sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.